Many of the fundamental questions that have occupied astronomers over the last 50 years will be addressed by the James Webb Space Telescope. It is one of the most expensive engineering projects ever attempted, costing $10 billion. Scientists have discovered artificial light emanating from a planet that they think might host life because of its extraordinary ability to focus light. You must first grind a mirror the size of a house in order to look back in time and see the first stars shine. If the mirror were the size of a continent, its surface must be so flat that there would be no hills or valleys higher than ankle height. The feeble light emanating from the farthest galaxies in the skylight that left its source long ago can only be collected and focused by a mirror this large and smooth, which depicts the galaxies as they appeared in the distant past when the universe was young. When strange forces conspired in the darkness and the first crops of stars began to glow, the very faintest, furthest galaxies we would ever see were still in the process of being born. JWST is the most advanced space telescope the world has ever seen, which allows us to see deep into the universe where sending a spacecraft is basically impossible for now. Since its launch into orbit, JWST has taken some unreal crystal clear images which otherwise wouldn't have been possible with telescopes like the Hubble. Perhaps one of the biggest discoveries that the JWST has made is the Proxima b exoplanet, which astronomers believe could have liquid water on its surface, which means one thing, extraterrestrial life. The closest alien planet to our solar system is even more Earth-like than scientists had thought. In a new study, an international team of researchers found that the minimum possible mass for Proxima b, which lies just 4.2 light-years from Earth, is just 17% more massive than our planet. Previously, scientists thought that this exoplanet, which lies in the habitable zone of its star, harbored a minimum of about 1.3 Earth masses. The new measurement indicates that Proxima b could be even more like our home planet, at least in size, than previous observations led scientists to think. The research team studied Proxima b by using the Eschel spectrograph for rocky exoplanet and stable spectroscopic observations, or ESPRESSO for short. ESPRESSO is a Swiss spectrograph that is currently mounted on the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope in Chile. Spectrographs observe objects and spit the light coming from those objects into the wavelengths that make it up so that researchers can study the object in closer detail. Proxima b was first detected four years ago by an older spectrograph, HARPS, High Accuracy Radial Velocity Planet Searcher, which is installed on a scope at ESO's La Silla Observatory in Chile. But with these newer observations, scientists have an updated, ultra-precise view of the planet. We were already very happy with the performance of HARPS, which has been responsible for discovering hundreds of exoplanets over the last 17 years. Study co-author Francesco Pepe, an astronomer professor at the University of Geneva in Switzerland and the person in charge of Espresso, said in a statement. We're really pleased that Espresso can produce even better measurements, and it's gratifying and just a reward for the teamwork lasting nearly 10 years. Espresso has made it possible to measure the mass of the planet with a precision of over one-tenth of the mass of Earth. Michael Mayer, a Swiss astrophysicist who won the Nobel Prize for Physics in 2019 and helped to develop a new type of spectrograph called a LODI, who is not an author on this study, said in the same statement, it's completely unheard of. So what's the deal with this Earth-sized planet? Proxima b is one of the most interesting planets known in the solar neighborhood. This strange alien planet orbits Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our Sun. Because the planet orbits right in the middle of its star's habitable zone, it's possible that liquid water and potentially even life could exist there. Because of its Earth-like mass, scientists believe that not only could liquid water exist on Proxima b, it could also be a rocky terrestrial planet similar to Earth. But Proxima b orbits around a star that, while closer to our solar system, is also much dimmer and much less massive than our Sun. 
Researchers think that the exoplanet is tidally locked and in synchronous rotation with its star, meaning that one side is always facing the star and one is always facing away, a light side and a dark side. In addition, it's unclear if Proxima b has an atmosphere. The planet lies very close to its star, completing one orbit every 11 Earth days. So, some researchers think that irradiation coming from Proxima Centauri might have stripped away Proxima b's air, making it impossible for the alien planet's surface to hold on to liquid water. As scientists continue to study this system with new and better technology, we will be able to better understand what it's really like on Proxima b. Studying exoplanets like Proxima b has become significantly easier with the launch of JWST. The latest spacebound contraption is unique because of two capabilities. First, it's big, with a 21.3-foot primary mirror that will make Webb the furthest seen telescope humankind has ever built. Secondly, Webb views the universe in the infrared, the zone on the electromagnetic spectrum with slightly longer wavelengths than visible light. It will be the only infrared specialized telescope in space that can see long distances. Its closest challenger, Hubble, works primarily in the visible and has a limited infrared viewing range. If life exists outside of Earth, it will release distinct chemical signatures, such as by breathing carbon dioxide and photosynthesizing out oxygen that can transform a planet. Analyzing the chemicals in a planet's atmosphere will not only allow scientists to look for life, but also enable them to assess a planet's habitability. Webb can detect infrared wavelengths for fingerprinting chemicals such as water and methane present in the atmosphere of exoplanets, which are planets beyond our solar system. Webb contains two instruments that will allow scientists to unravel the wavelengths of infrared signals from solar systems beyond ours, to unweave the colors of the infrared rainbow, so to speak. When an exoplanet photobombs a star that our telescopes are gazing at, the starlight will experience a dip in certain energies corresponding to the chemicals in the exoplanet's atmosphere. If Webb happens to be looking at the right star at the time, it can chemically analyze the atmosphere of the star's planet by analyzing the blip in the starlight. Exoplanet science as a field is pretty new, says Munaza Alam, an astrophysicist at Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics. Since the first exoplanet discovery in 1992, scientists have found thousands of exotic planets teeming in the universe. However, humanity's understanding of these exoplanets has barely extended beyond the fact that they're there. It's challenging for current technology, such as Hubble or on-Earth infrared telescopes, to carry out infrared spectroscopy on new exoplanets of interest. Hubble works with a much narrower band of infrared energies compared to Webb. Ground observatories are shrouded in Earth's atmosphere, which itself is an absorber and scatterer of infrared light. The Earth also emits background infrared radiation that would overwhelm the faint signals coming from the deep cosmos. In space, where Webb will be, Earth's atmosphere and warm radiating surface are out of the way for an unobstructed view of the night sky. Where stars congregate is a dusty place. Luckily, Webb's infrared eye will allow scientists to peer past the dusty curtain and see through it all. Webb will provide valuable data to peek into the temperatures, speeds, and chemical compositions of the stellar cloaks of black holes. Scientists can use this data to learn more about the mass and size of the black hole and more about how it snacks on a star. Webb will be the first telescope of its kind in terms of its size, sensitivity, and wavelength range altogether. With its capabilities, a good chance exists scientists will get to see something they've never seen before.